hello friends welcome to my channel and today i will explain to you how you can protect your excel workbook the reason i come up with this idea because i have to pay my uh, utility bills uh, through the lots of websites like sce pgne and my gym membership and everything and so many others i have like a 10 or 15 that i even can't remember so you can imagine that how can i remember my id and passwords so so friends just prepare the one excel spreadsheet and then you can password protect that spreadsheet and you can have the listed out all the utilities websites and their id and their password there always put the hint never put the complete password it can be hacked and you can comes in real trouble so just use this uh, step by step procedure that i will share with you uh, through my screen uh, so learn from there and then put send that spreadsheet to yourself through email or put on a google drive so you can access from anywhere you don't need to remember anything just one password that you have to remember to open that excel spreadsheet so friends uh, let's go and uh, see and if you have any question do not uh, feel uh, shy or anything just drop down your comments with the question and then i will respond back to you as soon as i can promise okay let's go hello friends uh, welcome to my channel and good morning to all and uh, today we'll learn how to protect the workbook excel workbook so first of all you need to right click on that desk or the screen and then go to the excel worksheet put the name whatever you like like uh, documents or something and then open it up and then at the bottom you can see you have the tab seat one click on the plus sign seat two click on third seat three now you can rename them by right click on that particular seat and then you can put the rename i put name main at here on the second one keep the cursor there right click on it and rename put uh, password or something let this one as it is and now if you want you can change the tab color I am putting yellow and on the password I am putting green so when you click on the third one you can see it's look nice and uh, pretty visible so so let's see how we can protect the document you need to go in the first click on the main and let's go in the file the first option it says to protect the workbook before we click on that the same way let me explain to you that here it says the author you can put your names uh, at here as an author like I am putting my name so people will know whenever they open this document this will be visible all the time so that's the way you can do it you can even remove this guy so you are the only one as an author you can save it later so let's go to the how to protect it click on the protect document and then the we have few options that you can also the protect current seat so like the main is open and you can put the password at here right now the main is empty we didn't did anything no editing or anything so we can put like a password and see how it will work i put password a b c d click ok for the confirmation i will put the same a b c d click OK and done save it so now when I click at here and I'm t uh, trying to uh, type something at here see the message pop up and it says to make the changes click on uh, click unprotect uh, see it in the review tab you might need a password click OK if you go to the review tab and go, uh, go to the unprotect the seat then you need to put the password there it will unprotect and now I will try to type something then only it's allow you to type so now to protect the whole document so uh, basically I was uh, trying to explain to you guys that you can put this uh, different password for the different tab and you can protect the tab but if you want to protect the whole document just go to the file and then protect the workbook and then encrypt with the password so when you click on that the message box will pop up and then you put the password i am putting the same at here a b c d and ok and then again for the confirmation a b c d and done so 
now it's protected let's see how it works first close it save the changes now that's the document we already protected so see like uh, if anybody would like to try to open it it will ask for the password without that it will not open so I put it password there and click OK and it's working now so previously I explained during the word document this kind of documents you can use for your all your all uh, social websites or your all like uh, utilities that you are paying uh, for the credit cards uh, and everything so you just put like a Facebook you can put your ID at here whatever is like at the rate gmail.com or something and then you can just put your password and put the hint never put the complete password otherwise people can see it or something so put the short form of the password that you can remember and then you can save it and close it the document and whenever somebody try to open it up even you by yourself then you have to put click OK and then you can see it so you can put this document after protecting you can send yourself in an email or you can put on the Google Drive or you can have in a USB so you can access from anywhere so in in by chance you forget the password you can access and you can use it okay guys so uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you have any question or concern please drop down the uh, your comments uh, or questions in the comment section below my video and then I will revert back to you as soon as I can and uh, hope you like it thank you so much bye bye